Hello from the Crystal Coast. This is Pastor Kevin, encouraging you to run with endurance the race that God has set before us. It's Tuesday, August the 6th. Today, I am joined by Kim Joyner. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah. For the past year, Kim has been serving on, on staff with us as our music director, leading worship for us in our chapel, our chapel service. She's been a part of our church family for... 28 years. A long, time. a long time, yeah, that's a long time, and uh, and uh, man, we are so delighted that she's a part of our our staff family now. She brings a lot of joy to our team, uh, and, and quite frankly, all that she does. So I thought I'd give you the opportunity uh, today to share a little bit with us from your heart as you mark the one year anniversary of serving on staff here uh, yeah. on the Crystal Coast. Mm -hmm. So how about start, share with us a little bit about what God's been doing in your life and uh, maybe things he's been teaching you. So for 32 years, I worked for the state of North Carolina and uh, retired, 2020 I think, and uh, I was happy, retired. And then this position, the <clears throat> interim position came up with the choir and I enjoyed doing a little bit of leading and so I decided to do the interim position. And... Um, <clears throat> it's given me a lot of confidence. Mm. It's uh, I didn't have the ability, but God did, and I just I just let Him lead me in the decision that I had to make about it because mm. I knew it was a big decision from retirement to part time work, mm -hmm. and um, uh, I accepted the interim position. And when I did, everything in my life that could go wrong went wrong. <laughs> it was like horrible. It was like you couldn't make that stuff up which meant that I was in the will of God hmm. and I was doing exactly what he needed me to do and what he wanted me to do. So that's what I learned from that experience. And, and I've been here a year and I have just enjoyed it. I have just enjoyed the choir. I've enjoyed speaking to people and learning more about music. And Clay is so smart and he's such a good, good, good uh, boss. Um, and I've just come out in my uh, ability to, to lead the choir hmm. and just to I don't know, do what God is leading me to do. And I've just, I've had a lot of joy. I've just enjoyed it so much. Yeah. Well, that that's very evident. And uh, we're going to edit that part about Pastor Clay out <laughs> of the video because we don't, we don't want to blow his head up too big. So, <laughs> <clears throat> so, um, how, how about share with us a little bit. So we're just over halfway through, uh, the 2024 and, uh, speeding towards uh, Christmas and the end of the year. Uh, talk to us a little bit about, what as you think about the rest of this year, what is it that really excites you that you're looking forward to? So, in general, I think I'll, I'm becoming more open to the leading of the Holy Spirit in my mm -hmm. life. So a lot of that is saying that I'm not real sure about the next step, but mm -hmm. I'm willing to trust uh, and Clay is like, he's so forward thinking and mm. I'm so in the box mm. kind of. And uh, I think he's leading me in directions that I've never been confident in before or even thought about before. So I think I'm excited about learning new things uh, that he has for me and mm. that God has for me and just doing different stuff with the choir. And um, I'm excited because the, the choir is more receptive to new things right now mm. and I can be a part of that in the leadership role that I have right. and I just feel like I'm I'm asking the Holy Spirit to lead me more and uh, that's what we're studying our Bible study group and mm -hmm. I just feel like that's what's becoming more evident in my life mm -hmm. and I'm tr I'm kind of leaning on God more yeah uh, so that's I'm excited great. about new stuff I yeah. guess great yeah. that's great well, we are delighted that you are uh, not just a part of our church family, but really delighted that you're part of our staff, and <clears throat> and you really do. Um, we, we have a dream team, and you're a big part of that, thank so thank you very much for, you. for You've being You've been very here. firming, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Good. Let me pray for you today. Okay. Father, thank you so much for what you're up to in our lives. Thank you for the way we see you guiding and directing us. It's just... It's beautiful to know that we can trust you and you're way more interested in directing us than a lot of times we are in receiving that direction. So I'm grateful uh, for your work in our lives. Thank you for uh, what you've been up to in Kim's life and, and the way you have brought her along 
in this journey and uh, for all that you're doing through her. It's, uh, she uh, leads worship for us in, in our chapel service and works with all the different groups that she um, has contact with. We thank you for the joy, enthusiasm, and passion that she brings to all of that. And I just pray your, your hand of blessing would continue to rest on her uh, and all that you're up to in her life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. So this is a, a really exciting time here on the, the Crystal Coast. We're, we're so excited uh, to be able to share with you this past Sunday what we sense God doing to fill the position of next-gen um, pastor, uh, Ashford Sony and his wife, Olivia. Uh, in the conversations I've had with them after Sunday, they are so very excited about the possibility of serving Jesus as a part of our staff. And um, don't forget, you're going to have an opportunity to uh, meet them and spend some time with them and get to know them a little bit better on Saturday, uh, August the 17th from 1 to 3 p.m. right down in our uh, Family Life Center uh, lobby. So I hope you'll, um, hope you'll take advantage of that time to get to chat with them. In the meantime, stay faithful to Jesus regardless.